Hi right, guys, this is kind of a part two to this morning sermon. I w- I went to church this morning and and the the sermon was about faith. But I was sitting in my kitchen and the Lord said, "What I told you in the dark is now coming to light." And I'm here to say God was God has been speaking to some of you for years and years and years and keeping you visions and dreams and visions and dreams and he's saying what I've been speaking to you in those visions and dreams what stops you in those visions and dreams is now this is the season that it's coming to light. It's coming to light and it's coming to life. He's like, trust me. It will be rocky. It will not make sense for part of it. Believe me. He says, but I'm working. He says, but I'm working. He says, trust me. He says, remember what I told you in the dark. Remember what I've told you um, when things weren't going right. Remember what I've told you last year, a few years ago. Some of you have written down words that he told you. And he's saying to bring back, bring forth those words that he told you. Whatever he told you in those dark seasons, whatever he told you in that season of preparation is now coming to pass and people are at different at different um, times in their lives some of you are now at a season of preparation some of you were into the, were in a season of preparation and are now going into a season of plenty he's like for those of you in that season of preparation and getting strange dreams and all of that, getting ideas that don't make sense, feeling unctions in your spirit. He's saying, write them down because you will need them for the season of plenty. The season of preparation um, goes into the season of plenty. It's like the story of Joseph. And he's saying, for those of you in the season of preparation, write down everything he tells you. He says, I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's a business plan, if it's a name of a business, whatever. Write it down. He says, I don't care if it's even your children's name. Whatever I'm telling you now, this is a season of preparation. This is a season that I need to prepare you. For those of you in the season of plenty, who, who, who are, no, for those of you about to transition in the season of plenty, he's saying, remember what I told you in the, the season of preparation. Remember all the words I told you, all the things you wrote down. They are, they, they are going to come to light now, and you're and you were wondering why didn't this happen for sometimes ten, sometimes twenty years? He said, "All oh, that was your season of preparation." Was your was your chrysalis season? A chrysalis is what a caterpillar goes into to hibernate to get all the information that it needs to become what it becomes. So, in your chrysalis season and your season of preparation, it's an information gathering season. It's a study season. It's it's a season to prepare and get ready. In your season of plenty, 
It's the season of manifestation. It's the season for some of you where he's going to manifest all those visions, all those dreams, all those crazy ideas that you thought were crazy. He's like, he's like, get ready. Get all your notes that you took on the season of, for the season of preparation in your life. Because now it's going to manifest in a season of plenty. When Joseph was having all those dreams and his brother was laughing at and his brothers were laughing at him and the whole coat of many colors thing, that was his season of preparation. The jail was his season of preparation. Sometimes your season of preparation lasts for many years. Seven, eight, nine, ten, sometimes twenty years, sometimes fifteen years. And he's saying, now for those of you who were in the season of preparation, get ready for your season of uh, plenty. And those of you in the season of preparation, write everything down that he tells you. It doesn't matter how stupid it is. Just write it down. Um, and be prepared for crazy dreams and unctionings of the Holy Spirit that you've never experienced before. That's, that's because he's preparing you. That's because he's preparing you for your next level. And in the season of preparation, it's rocky. You're not sure when it when it's what is going on, and there's a lot of false starts. He's saying, "Hold, hold tight. This is the season of preparation." And for people in the season of plenty, just know that it's your season of plenty. Now is the season of manifestation. You worked, you toiled, you prayed, you fasted, you've given, you you've sacrificed. And now it's your season of plenty. And your season of plenty will require listening to the Holy Spirit in a way you've never listened to him before. He says, hone your ears. Because in this season of plenty, although I've given you instruction, although you need to now manifest what I told you. You need to listen very closely to what I've been saying to you about this season, about what to do, because he's very meticulous with you guys. He will tell you, sometimes he doesn't tell you exactly what to do, sometimes you just have to move on and maybe, but I'm not talking to those people. I'm talking to those people where he's giving exact instructions. Like um, when when David was building the tabernacle, Noah was building the ark, he gave them exact instructions. And that's what he's going to do right now. And he's saying to some of you, hone your ears. He's saying to you, he's saying to some of you in the season of preparation, don't worry about execution, don't worry about how it's going to happen, just write it down and prepare. If you need, if you want you to go to school, go to school. If you have to move on and maybe, move on and maybe. And seasons come fast as they do. Stay in your lane and listen to his voice. Because that season of preparation will benefit you. The season of preparation is necessary because it's a season of information gathering, tools gathering, and it's an essential season so that when you get into your season of plenty, you have the tools, you have the skills, you've honed your skills to listen to God. And you're not weird, you're not crazy. It's the season that God has got you in. You're in a season of of preparation, which is learning, information gathering, 
or you're in a season of of plenty or manifestation, which is all the things that you've been praying for are coming to pass. So it's either preparation or plenty. If you want an example of this from the Bible, um, J- the Joseph story is a good example. And if you've never read the Joseph story, read that story. You can find it from Genesis 37 to Genesis 50. Skip 38. So it's Genesis 37 to Genesis 50. So thanks, guys. Bye. So says the word of the Lord. Thank you so much. Bye.